So this is the room for a lot of people. This is Union Station. It's spe spectacular, 85 feet across, 350 feet long, and 65 foot ceiling. There are bits of hidden history even in this most public of spaces. Little divots and dips created by the heels of people waiting for the train, watching that famous clock. If this hall is the heart of the place, then what's above and below is the soul. Where are we going now? Well, Joel, this is sea level or concourse level of Union Station, and it is what's left of the old East baggage tunnel. It is part of the only area in Union Station that remains pretty much the way it was in 1914. 100 years ago, this slimy passageway was bustling, baggage cars rumbling in, loaded and unloaded, elevators moving from floor to floor. It gets a little sloppy here, folks. Signs of life still exist down here, like the ghostly train board listing some of the dozen railroads that made tracks through Kansas City. Well, Joel, we are in what's called the hydraulic room, or more casually known as the pump room. And this, this, all these machines in here controlled all of the elevators in Union Station. This power plant also kept the first escalators in Kansas City making their ups and downs. Now today, the room plays many roles as part of various exhibits, like the engine room of the Titanic. As you make your way to these secret spots, you find that some hallways have stories to tell. It's Serena and Paul. Paul, yeah, probably 1973, and you were wondering if they still together? Well, they, they went 73, again. 74, 75, 76, 77. They come up here every year. Every year. Every year. It's our yeah, anniversary. Our anniversary. That's it. <laughs> Joel, here we are on the last leg of our journey. This is almost like a ship's ladder. It's really steep, but it gets us to the attic and eventually to the roof. 100 feet above the Grand Hall in the attic. Heating, air conditioning, ventilation keep the station alive. 3,500 pound chains hold the chandeliers in place. Here we have one of the original hand cranks that were used to raise and lower the chandeliers. Right. Look at there, I'm stronger than I thought. My goodness. Of course, it's not attached to anything. <laughs> There's only one more place to go, not so much hidden as forbidden. The roof of Union Station. We are 200 feet above the ground, above that big, beautiful hallway that we're all so used to here at Union Station. This is a view of the city unlike anything you're going to see anywhere. It's really quite spectacular. So the next time you're in this amazing place, just think of all the life that's been lived all around you in the hidden places of Union Station. Joel Nichols, 41 Action News.